Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to day 15 of this 30 days of yoga for complete beginners. I hope that you are feeling the magic of this practice take over every aspect of your life. I hope it's kind of really getting into your whole system so that everything begins to be infused with the magic of yoga. Okay, let's come to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together, a long deep inhale. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Be aware of the quality of your mind. Notice the quality of your emotions. Tune into the breath. Feel your body. And let this check-in just gently call your mind into presence. Then a nice long deep inhale. As you exhale, let's softly open the eyes. Today's practice is going to focus on core strength. So I hope you'll have fun lighting the body on the most pleasant type of fire possible. Let's get started in a slightly different position today. Come to a seated position with your feet together and bend the knees. Then let's just hold on to the knees nice and easy and we're going to start lying down. So we just kick the butt a little bit forward and then exhale, roll the spine down. All right. Knees together, activate your glute muscles to help really tighten the lower legs and keep everything squeezed together. And then let's draw the ribs a little bit in. Hold underneath your head and inhale, let's pick it up. And we'll hold this for five breaths. One, how you doing? Two, nice and easy, just fire it up. Three, stay with it. Four, almost there, five. Exhale, go down. Relax, shake it out. And we're gonna do two more times. Knees together, squeeze your glutes, let's pull those ribs in, fire up the core, inhale, hold the head, pick it up. One, nice and easy, belly inside, two. Stay with it, three, almost there, four, and five. Exhale, go down, all right. Shake that out. Make sure your lower back is on the ground when you try to come up. Knees together, tuck tail, squeeze your glutes, pull the ribs in. Don't tighten the hamstrings too much, just to squeeze the glutes and push your feet down. Then, ribs in, hold underneath your head. Inhale, let's pick it up. Good, hold, one, two, nice and easy, three, stay with it, four, and five. Exhale, go down. All right, open the knees, relax the body for a moment, stay. Long, deep breath in. Long deep breath out, drop the knees in. And now let's fold one knee up, bending the knee, keep your left leg on the ground. This is gonna help you really just push that lower back on the ground, hold underneath your head again. Inhale, come up, and if it's comfortable for you, just hold on to your shin. One, two, nice and easy. Activate your thighs, three, four, and now switch the legs. One, hold it up, two, if you want to go back to holding the head, that's all good. Three, four, left leg down, exhale, rest. Shake that out, we do it again. Fold the ribs in, tighten the glutes, right leg comes up, inhale, pick it up, one. You want to hold onto the shin, go for it, otherwise the head is good. Three, four, five, and switch. One, two, almost there, three, four, Five, exhale, left leg down. Exhale again, all the way down. Shake it out for a moment. Enjoy, remember, enjoy the challenge. Let's try again. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes, pull the ribs in, right leg comes up. Inhale, pick it up. One, two, nice and easy. Three, stay with it. Four, five, and switch. One, two, almost there. Three, Four, activate the pelvic floor, really squeeze. Exhale, left leg down. Exhale all the way down. Shake it out for a moment, nice and easy. Bend both knees into your chest. Inhale, roll it up. And exhale, let's come on down to your hands and knees. We're gonna continue working the core, but let's make sure we have our flexibility in place. So hold it for a moment here in your tabletop position. Long deep breath in, 
long deep breath out. Let's go through cat and cow to release the spine. Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, round your back and pull it under. Two more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Let's tuck it under. Last one. Inhale, slowly lift the spine. Exhale, round. Walk the knees back, puppy pose. Hands forward. Exhale, forehead towards the ground. Come up onto your fingertips. We'll stay five breaths. One. Deep breathing. Two. Draw the navel in. Three. Steady breath. Four. Just take a few moments. Stay with it. Five. Hands down. Walk your hands back. Let's inhale up to downward facing dog. All right. You're going to do downward dog. Open the shoulder. Shoulders roll away from the spine. Inhale up to downward facing dog. Take a moment. Feel the press through the heels. You can bend the knees for a moment. And then inhale, hips back and up. Stay there for a moment. Five breaths. One. Roll the shoulders open, two, nice and easy, three, no force, just breathe, all is good, and five. All right, let's walk your feet about half the distance forward, our hanging forward fold is really good, our flexibility established, soft bend in the knees, lay your arms over each other, inhale, straight legs, five breaths, one, Relax the body, dial the nervous system down, two, elongate the back muscles, three, steady breathing, four, almost there, five, let's lift the head up, walk your feet in towards each other, sink down into your legs, inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose, squeeze it in, one, Nice and easy, feel your breath. Two, enjoy that little burning sensation in the body. Three, knees squeeze into each other. Four, almost there, stay with it. Almost there, five, exhale, squat on down, sit all the way down. All right, it didn't happen so smoothly, just come to seated position. Then point the feet, inhale, arms up, Navasana. Squeeze your glutes a little bit. Let's grab those blocks and set them up between the feet and the hips. Good. Continue with Navasana. Three. Keep working. Four. Almost there. Five. Cross feet. Hands on the blocks. Roll shoulders back and inhale, hips back. Exhale, set it down. Legs up, Navasana. One. Stay with your breath. Two. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Keep working. Fire it up. Enjoy this little fire practice. Three, stay with it. Four, almost there. Five, cross the legs. Pitch the shoulders forward. Lift the body back and up. Exhale down, one more. Legs up, arms up. Your shoulders strong and open. Two, keep working. Three, squeeze your glutes a little bit. Four, almost there. Five, cross your feet. Inhale, send the hips back and up. Exhale, set it down. Move your blocks on over to the side for a moment. And then, slowly, roll the spine gently down. Now, extend left leg and inhale, right leg comes up. See if you can reach at least the 90 degree angle. If you can go a little more, great, but it's not, I don't want you to work too much of stretching. So we're gonna use the leg position of Supta Padakushtasana to work the core of the body. Now there are two options that you can work with. Hold underneath your head and inhale, come up, or hold your leg and come up. Let's stay for five. One, two. If it's too much with the straight leg, you can bend the knee a little bit, but we try to use the strength of the leg. We can do it at 90 degrees and just with the head up. All right, four, five, and switch. Put that right leg on the floor. This helps keeps your lower back down. Three, or you can hold. This helps you lift a little higher. Four, five. Inhale, head down. Exhale, leg down. Now we do it again. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, lift. One, two, you can hold head or you can hold onto the leg. Three, so this is a more accessible option. We can go for that. Four, 
and five, switch. One, two, stabilize that right leg, pull the belly in. Three, four, and five. Inhale, head down, exhale, leg down. One more set, right leg comes up, and exhale, pick it up. One, you could go for more if you like. Two, up to you. Three, it works the same principle, squeeze the glutes a little. Four, five, and switch. One, two, almost there. Three, keep working, don't give up. Four, five, inhale, head down. Exhale, leg down. Shake it out. Again, enjoy that little fire, and let's bend the knees. And then, inhale, lift your legs up. Fold the legs into the body as much as you can. Just give a little fold, fold. If that's challenging for you, let's bend the knees and you can give the same little fold. Okay, now wiggle from side to side so that you can get your hands underneath your butt. Inhale, lift legs up. Stay there for a moment. We're gonna use the head as a counterbalance to make sure that the lower back is on the ground. So prepare. If you have any neck issues, you're welcome to keep the head on the ground or supported by a pillow. Otherwise, squeeze your glutes, inhale, lift the head up, then exhale, legs little down, squeeze your glutes, inhale, legs up. Exhale, legs little down, we're gonna do five times, squeeze the glutes, inhale, come up. Three more, exhale, legs little down, squeeze the glutes, inhale, come up. Two more, exhale, legs little down, squeeze your glutes, inhale, come up. Last one, we hold, one, hold it, squeeze glutes, two, big squeeze, three, tighten the abs, four, and five, inhale, head down, and legs up. Stay here now with the legs up. We're gonna use that newfound strength to roll all the way over, all right? Fold your legs into the body, and then inhale, hips up. Hold the hips immediately. So now we start to move into plow pose, or halasana position. If this starts to strain your neck, just come on down. But if you feel you need to bend the knees, that's fine too. Get the feeling of the hips lifting more and more up. And maybe you can come into the position with the feet on the ground. Hold it for five breaths here. You could be doing just a little lift with the legs up or with the legs straight. Find what works for your body. Press into the shoulders. One. Looking good. Two. Keep the body lifted. Keep the pelvis lifted. Three. Try to keep the weight off the neck and keep it instead in the shoulders. Four. And five, move your hands open and exhale, roll the spine down. Extend one leg, extend the other. Let's do fish pose, just as a little counterbalance. Point the feet, elbows on the ground, top of the head down. Five breaths, one. Lift the rib cage, two, three. Stay here breathing, four. Almost there, five, exhale, relax your spine. Relax everything for a moment, enjoy the breath. Bend your knees, fold the knees up into the body, inhale, roll it up. And now let's prepare to use the blocks again. So let's put those blocks in place. Scoot on back, scoot on back so the blocks are about shoulder width apart. We're gonna do plank on the blocks, all right? So come on down to your Hands and knees plank. Grip your fingertips, pitch those shoulders forward. All right, step one leg back. Tuck your tailbone, other leg back. Give me plank, one. Enjoy it, two, three. A little more forward, four. Almost there. All right, ready? Right knee into the chest. One, hold, two, hold it, three, hold it, four. Step it back, left knee into the chest. One, hold it. Two, don't give up. Three, four, step it back. Let's sink those knees down. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Use the blocks for that extra space. Exhale, downward facing. Stay up on the blocks because guess what? We're gonna do it again. All right, feet together. Plank, right knee, one. Two, push with the shoulders, but lift your body with your body. Three, four, step it back, left side, in. One, don't give up, two, three, almost there. Four, step it back, knees down. Send the chest forward. 
Chaturanga. Upward facing, long deep breath in. Sink those knees down, kick it on back to downward facing. What do you think? You got one more in you? I hope so, because we're gonna do it. Come on forward, let's see your plank. Come on back to plank, enjoy it. And right knee into the chest. One, two, almost there. Three, four, and five. Step it back, left side. One, two, use your body to pick it up. Three, four, step it back, knees down. You ready? Chaturanga. Upward facing, long deep breath in. Sink the knees down, downward facing. All right, downward facing, step off the blocks. Move them on over to the side. And settle in your down dog for a moment. Relax your neck, relax the shoulders, three-legged dog. Point the right foot, inhale, reach it back and up. One, two, just reach, reach, reach. Three, four, almost there. Five, sink it down, let's try the other side. Point left toes, inhale, send the left leg back and up. One, two, almost there. Three, keep breathing. Four, almost there. Five, exhale, all the way down. Sink the knees down, cross your feet. Come on through to seated, stretch the legs out. Long deep breath in, hands near the hips, Dandasana position. Turn your attention a little bit more inward and start to feel the breath and body coming into balance. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Pivot forward from the hips, Paschimottanasana. If you need to bend your knees a little, or hold on to the toes, or you just want to stay on the shins, it's all good. Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, easy fold. Relax your neck down. One, deep breaths. Two, almost there. Steady breathing. Three, four. Your legs can be straight. It's really what works for your body. Almost there. Five, inhale, straighten the arms, exhale there. Shake it on out, let's scoot the feet forward, roll your spine gently down. Stay there for a moment, enjoy your breath, enjoy the body, that fire sensation in the body, welcome it. Then, legs up, calm the mind, drop your attention down just a little bit, we're almost done. Stay with your breath for five breaths here. One, two, nice and easy, three, four, last one, almost there, five, exhale, bend the knees, slowly sink the knees down, open the arms and the legs, come to rest. Rest for a few breaths, keeping the mind quiet and calm, steady breaths. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out. Celebrate the work that you put in for today's practice. No matter what you did in terms of the poses, have faith that yoga is working. Believe in yourself just a little bit more every day. It's the essence of the yoga journey. Feel your breath. Feel your body, feel your mind. All comes into harmony and coherence. And allow yourself a long, deep breath in. As you exhale, move your fingers, toes, hands and feet. Let's bend the knees and the elbows. Draw the knees up into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And really thank your body. Hey, my body, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're good. Roll around to the right side. Inhale, come on up to a comfortable seated position. Eyes closed, attention at the heart space. Plant the seeds of metta. May I be happy. 
May all beings be happy. May I be peaceful. May all beings be peaceful. May I be filled with love. May all beings be filled with love. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this 30 days of yoga for complete beginners. Keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. And I'll see you again tomorrow to continue the journey. Namaste.